Good morning, it's Valerie Ling here, clinical psychologist, coming to you live on what is turning out to be a very authentic setting. It's a Monday morning, I have no makeup on, and I thought I would hop online to take you through my burnout prevention strategy for myself this morning. <clears throat> after having a very heavy weekend. I did not have a weekend of rest. Saturday, Sunday, I was in a high intensity uh, group work situation. It was pretty much locked down, full of people interaction, full of accountability talks, full of strategy, full of um, problem solving. So that was Saturday, Sunday, and today I need to do three things as a priority, or I need to walk through three processes as a priority. One, reflect, two, replenish, three, restore. So I'm out and about this morning doing my reflect. I should say that the process actually started yesterday in that I recognized that once I left my venue at 6 p.m. and I was traveling home to my family, I would need a transition time because I would be going from one situation to another without the opportunity to even do a mini reflect and replenish before I'm restored to my family relationships, which are very important to me. And so yesterday I actually had some time away from the family before I actually reconnected with them for some self-care and then I was prepared and ready by a particular time to be 100% mindful and present with them, uh, screens away in complete face-to-face -face interaction which was just lovely. So family's gone off to work and school this morning and top of my agenda is number one reflect. After such a high intensity weekend I, I need some time to actually just hear my voice. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual person and a person of faith and uh, the other voice I listen to is the voice of uh, my spiritual director which is God and so this morning there are, there's an opportunity for me to spend at least an hour having a walk and reflecting and what that does for me is it restores my sense of identity and it helps me to refocus myself on uh, the things that are important, uh, the, the, the principles that I live by and to be grateful and also to feel quite centered. The second thing I will do is after my walk, I will replenish. This is really important, not because we had uh, a weekend full of incredible food lots of sugary stuff. I tried to have decaf mostly, um, but because my body has not had time to rest and have some uh, focus on, the work that I was doing over the weekend was mostly in my brain, um, wasn't, we weren't active, <clears throat> and I actually hadn't spent time connecting with my body. So number two is really, really important in my routine. I need to listen to it and figure out what it needs. And I've decided that after a weekend of chocolates and chips and eating full on lunches and dinners, <laughs> the thing that my body actually missed out on was some fruit and some liquids and some really great antioxidants. So that is going to be my replenish focus is I'm actually going to feed my body um, those things. And number three is restore. Now this one, after a high intensity weekend, uh, you could have a complete day of just uh, replenish and reflect and not actually do anything um, in your purpose zone. That, that's fine for me. I'm someone who just needs to get things ticked off as best as I can. If you've watched my clinic, Center for Effective Living on Friday, you will note that 
I actually finished off the day saying it's okay not to finish things on your to-do list. It's okay not to um, done the things that you wanted to do. And that was authentic to my experience on Friday as well. I knew that I was having a high intensity Saturday, Sunday, and so I prioritized clocking off on Friday. But for me, that means that <clears throat> on Monday, I need to acknowledge that I need to get some of those things finished so I can actually feel like my week begins purposeful. And so I've already selected the three things in my high purpose zone. What is a high purpose zone? A high purpose zone goes back to your sense of call or conviction. Right? Uh, the people in your heart, the problems on your mind, and the opportunities to address them. They do not have to be three big things. In fact, for me, it's really three little things. Uh, one of them is to reply an outstanding email, for example. But out of all the emails in my inbox, this is the one I will definitely make sure gets ticked off today because it is in my high purpose zone in terms of uh, burnout prevention. And that will restore me to a sense that, yep, I have a direction for the week, I have a direction for the day. The week has started off with meaning and purpose. I'm just going to avoid that part of the word. There's a whole bunch of people there. Uh, so that will constitute my day today. One last thing I will sign off with is I will actually have downtime for the week. That's called my splurge time. <laughs> Once a month I try to do a whole morning, but in this instance I'm not going to be able to have a whole morning. I am a working mum. I find it very difficult to take whole mornings or whole days um, off to have an off day. This week, what I've problem solved instead is it will be two hours. Two hours on a Wednesday morning where I will have um, my splurge time. Splurge time basically just means there is no screen, there is no work, there is just a playful, curious attitude to pick up uh, myself. I might stay home, I don't know. I'll have to see what I feel like on that Wednesday morning. So I'm going to sign off now because I'm about to head off and do my reflect time and uh, I hope that you have a lovely start to your week too. Bye.